Greetings one and all to a new part of Let's Play Godzilla Unleashed. Last time we completed the mutant story mode, and if you couldn't tell by that image, I've actually tried recording beforehand, but something happened. <clears throat> so of course, uh, there was an audio fuck up, which of course forced me to restart my console. <clears throat> so. For the alien faction, we have Gigan, King Ghidorah, Mecha Godzilla, Megalon, and Orga. We're going to be going through this as Gigan, Mecha Godzilla, King Ghidorah, in commemoration for the upcoming Godzilla King of the Monsters. So let's try this again with Clandestine Incursion. This time, minus audio glitches. Alright, much better. There we are. There's our partner. There's our enemy. There's King Ghidorah's taunt. Of course, King Ghidorah is, of course, your standard. And of course, Mothra goes right ahead with the transformation. Under normal circumstances, I would be playing as Orga, but I felt it was fitting to play as King Ghidorah, considering he is going to show up in the upcoming film. 
And one thing that's important to keep in mind And like that, mission complete. All right, first start. Here we are. Terran mind control. <laughs> Order our mecha units to intercept. If you yes, don't have any idea who the hell the Vortec are, the Vortec are pretty much the primary antagonist of the previous two Godzilla games, Destroy All Monsters Melee and Save the Earth. As I should mention, my first time playing through the Alien Story Mode, I was Orga. Oh, we're fighting Kiryu. Let's kill him and take the power of the Power Surge Crystal for our own. Uh, much like the Mutant Story Mode, Under any other circumstance, And of course, destroyer will show up to ruin. Oh my god, fuck off. Let me kill Kirio. If you ever want to know, yes, Ghidorah can fly. And there goes Curio. <clears throat> All right, next area is General Dyson. Splash down.
Easy prey. Here we go. In Osaka. Again. Here we are. There's Mechagodzilla, the original, who is our ally. And our enemy is Jet Jaguar. Now, the thing about King Ghidorah is that King Ghidorah is very sluggish. So, the thing about Jet Jaguar is that his gimmick is that he can change his size. So, he can go from being normal size to pretty tiny, or very tiny actually, to where he becomes a pain in the ass to hit, as well as super fast. Or, he becomes. pretty damn big. In Save the Earth, which was his debut game in this trilogy, oh shit, yeah if you couldn't tell in this game, and I believe his debut game as well, he has a very Ultraman style uh, beam. Like that, there goes Jet Jaguar. And for some reason, I gained trust with the GDF. For some reason. Splash down. Yeah, you gain trust by gaining uh, power surge abilities, so we will be killing a lot of monsters. But I will, of course, be saving my own allies, because they are my allies. And I can't take over the world with the power surge crystals if they're trying to kill me. There's Orga, my preferred character to play as in this game. And there's our opponent. Now, considering that we are at the last story of Guts of Unleashed, I want to get into the topic of a possible Let's Play. Originally, I wanted to do a Mega Man game. But recent circumstances has pretty much made me decide against doing a Mega Man LP. But who knows, perhaps I will later on down the road, depending on how I'm feeling. Oh, for fuck's sake, get over here. There goes Obsidious, and just in time too, because hey, 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 look who showed up. It's Big Ugly and Yelzebubby. Look at this, I'm just draining his health.
Look at that. Beautiful. Why am I doing better in this story mode than I am in the previous two? Uh, Orga? Buddy? Oh, see, that's why I like Borga so much in this game. So he is such a freaking powerhouse. It saddens me that I am unable to play him. But of course, because Godzilla King of the Monsters is going to be released, I have to be a man of my word and show support for it. Because I like this series too much, even though the fandom is complete and utter garbage. Well, I can't tell you all Godzilla fans are complete and utter garbage, because there are those out there that I like. It's just that the fandom can be very fucking annoying. Poison Alliance. Let's not hit there just yet. Let's see what General Dazen has to say about the whole situation. I will say this though, at the very least, the Godzilla fandom is better than the Pacific Rim fandom. I mean, seriously, two movies in, and the fandom's already toxic. What's wrong with that picture? <sighs> Gee, I wonder what could have caused it. Dumbass. So. Now, if I'm correct, it is possible to get the good ending on the opposite faction, on the opposite faction, as well as getting the bad ending on the opposite faction. Like, it is possible to do the Tyrant mission on the Earth Defenders and GDF mission, and it is possible to do the, uh, the good guy missions. The final battle against Space Godzilla as either the mutants or uh, the freaking uh, aliens. So, in the mutants' case, it's more funny because it's like you're essentially turning against your own like faction. You're turning against your own guy. There's Angiris, who is our target, and. Why am I hearing j Jaguar noises? Uh, Igurus? Why the hell am I hearing j Jaguar noises? J Jaguar, where the hell are you? Excuse me. Like, I am getting weird audio glitches. That explains it. That fucking explains it.
Oh, never mind then. Well then. Okay. Well, it seems like this part is going to end rather shortly. Now you have two more areas to go to. Seattle and Monster Island. <sighs> Feels good to be back, but after, like, the freaking mutant story mode, holy shit. Like, again, after this story mode is done, after the Godzilla Unleashed playthrough is done, I'm taking a break from YouTube, because holy shit. Like, I might not be active when I'm signed on, but I am very active when I'm offline. And oh boy, have I seen my fair share of shit when offline. Shit that makes me want to stay away from the site for a while. But yeah, that wraps up this part of the alien story mode. Next time, we will proceed to try and take over the world as the three-headed space dragon, King Ghidorah. See you guys then.